Hello and welcome to our show, Radhika Talks. Our next guest is someone you've heard his famous laugh. He is very popular in the Indian community, a very well known and prominent radio jo uh, jockey, Romeo Chonko, lovably known as Chonko Pops. Welcome to our show, Romeo. Good day to you. Thanks for having me on the show. Now, you need to tell us how a black man ends up being a very popular radio jockey on a Hindi radio station. Okay, it started from uh, the rising side. It was on the paper, the advert, that they're looking for uh, radio presenters. And I always had a passion for the radio, so I went for it. And I went for an interview and everything. Everything was just smoothly on the day. And then they told me my, my time slot and uh, I was happy with it. And I was on the radio. And they, they have to pair me with one of the, the ladies that knows Hindi. And we have to practice, you know, the, the, the announcing of, the, of the, the movies, the songs and all those things. And then we practiced that and then I was on air, just like that. And did you before that have any experience with Indian music and lifestyle or Indian people for that matter? Nope, I never. I didn't grow, even grow up with Indians. I grew up with uh, like uh, black community and the whites. There were no Indians in Machabatuba. Uh, so I never, I, I didn't even know there was Hindi music. I didn't know there was Hindi. I didn't know anything about it, nothing. And did you ever think at any point that you'd become as popular as you have, uh, you know, amongst the Indian community? Mm, not in the Indian community, no. But I, I had a passion for the radio. I had that uh, goal that one day I will be a radio presenter. I always wanted to be a radio presenter, but not popular, no. And what has been the most strangest request you've had over the radio? And I'm sure there must be many. Yes, there are. There are many, but it's all about fun. You know what I mean. But I had the the lady who called, and I answered the phone live on the radio, and she said, "I want to propose. Can you see my number on your screen?" I said, "Yes, I can see your number on the screen." She said, "I, I, I propose. I need to marry you." And I'm like, <laughs> I was like, "What?" She said, "Yes, take my number down. Don't don't let this opportunity slip away." I'm like, "Okay, it's okay, it's okay." And it just laughed. That was weird, but it was fun. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure it must be. Now, I know a lot of the young girls are always excited when you had any of the Diwali shows and that sort of thing. But what for you has been the hardest thing to grasp, uh, you know, in the job that you do? No, they, there's nothing. There's nothing difficult on the radio because, uh, like, my show is all about the music much of music and those dedications. So there's no, there's nothing difficult on my show because even if I come on radio um, at one minute two, I'm on the radio, I'm out. Like what that. is your favorite Indian song? Right now, my favorite, my current favorite song, it's uh, the breakup song. It's from I Have Deal Mushkil. It's a new movie. I love that song. You know, it's not every day you chat to somebody who is so passionate about Indian music. And uh, tell us a little bit about family life and how your family has taken to you being a, a radio jockey on an on a Indian radio station. What was their reaction? Okay, it, uh, first is my mother. My mother didn't have any problem. She was happy for me and she's, she's my best friend. She's my best friend. And then my father knows I'm on the radio. Some other family members they don't know. I didn't tell all of them, but they, some they know. But they don't have a problem like, why are you on the Indian radio station? No. They just know I'm on the radio and I love uh, radio, that's all. And what has surprised you most about uh, Indian culture? Oh, uh, I love, one is the music, and two, the way they dress up, and food. <laughs> now, I'm very curious to know if Romeo can cook an Indian meal. So tell us, Romeo, can you cook? Yep, I'm a very, very good cook. I can cook, uh, I can bake as well, and I love it. Like my favorite, it's uh, mutton curry. I can top, I can cook a lot of uh, top mutton curry for you. <laughs> it's nice to know. I'm sure your mother will be really pleased. But is it spicy or is it one of those bland? Curry? No, I don't eat bland. I don't like that. It has to be theta hot. <laughs> That you use, Tita. You're being an Indian and harder, <laughs> Romeo. <laughs> um, 
Now, Romeo, we have a few short questions for you, and I'd like for you to answer it very quickly. Beanie or Cap? Cap. Cape Town or Durban? Durban. Briani or Sam? Briani. <laughs> I'm not surprised about that. And my favorite question for you, Priyanka Chopra or Preeti Zinta? Give it to me, Priyanka Chopra, no! <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about Priyanka? She's beautiful. She, she's, she's very, very talented. And she's all that. She's my favorite, favorite number one uh, actress in the entire world. I love that woman. I, I, I won't mind marrying her, to, <laughs> even tomorrow. I'm sure she'll accept your proposal if you do propose. <laughs> Romeo, you're that kind of guy. Now, I want to know, your love for Indian culture and music is so prominent. Mm -hmm. If you were asked to perform in an Indian show, would you consider it? Yes. I, will, I wouldn't mind. I love that. I would love that. I love to be involved with people as well and doing a lot of uh, cultural things, uh, DJ, uh, DJs and uh, all the, you know, the functions, our Indian functions. I always go for places like that and I have fun. I love it. And we, are you surprised by the wonderful support and love you get from the listeners of your radio station? Yes, it was, it was a big surprise for me. I didn't expect it. But the love, it, it's too much, especially uh, social media, social media and those calls, like, you know, the compliments, like, hey, you're doing a great job. I can't even pronounce the name of the movie. You are too good. I, I get that a lot. I'm very, very grateful for that as well. And I just mentioned that you were raised in Matuba Tuba. What was your growing up years like? I grew up, I was born in Matuba Tuba and raised there, I finished matric there. And then I came to Deben. For, for the job and whatever. But uh, Matuba Tuba was very, very nice uh, place for me. I, I miss that place. You know, farm life with the, with the goat, chicken and cows <laughs> and donkeys. Yeah, farm life where cook outside fire. I used to cook from, from, from small, I used to cook. That's me. So you were a typical Zulu boy growing up? Yes, typical Zulu gorgeous boy. <laughs> Just like you to throw that word in there. So did you have your your skins, your animal skins and your spear and all of that? Did you have that? Yes, I did it like once, you know, when you go for, for some uh, some functions. But uh, now for me it was like weird now, but I was fine. But I didn't like it like much, yeah. But have you dressed in traditional Indian clothes as yet? Yes. I did. I, I do a lot. I've got a lot of courtesies to, to, to use when I'm going for maybe some main functions or weddings or let I do have a lot. So you're very famous for your laugh, wouldn't you say? Yeah, it, it's, it's like it comes natural. I'm born with it. Yeah. Yeah, but well, a lot of people love well it. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Romy, I'm sure your viewers like me want to know. I mean, you're a black man, but you love the Indian culture and everything associated with it. Have you been to India? Regrettably, no. And would you love to go? I would love to go, even tomorrow if you say go, go I'll go. I have, I, it's, it's my biggest dream, I have to go, I will, I, will, I will go, put it that way, I will go. Well, I wish you all the best in that regard. I do hope one day you go to India and embrace the, uh, the wonderful Indian influence there like you've embraced it here. All the best. Thank you, and see Priyanka Chopra too. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Romeo, you've been an absolute pleasure to chat to. Uh, I'm sure your fans are going to really enjoy this video. Uh, but uh, thank you for the wonderful work you do in promoting social cohesion and to show that we do not have to put ourselves in little boxes. I like only this and I like only that. I mean, here is an African man who's embracing another culture, you know, so enthusiastically. And he's got such a, a wonderful fan following. He's adored by Indian girls and women and mothers. And this is what life is all about. You know, let's not uh, call, raise these racial divides. I mean, the world is our oyster. We can embrace culture. We can embrace each other's, uh, you know, practices and really enjoy doing what we're doing. So, Romeo, my hat's off to you. Keep on doing what you're doing and, and you know, keep at it with that wonderful spontaneous laugh that you have. That's so infectious. Thank you so much for inviting me and uh, thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, Monica. Namaste.